I'm just standing on the sidewalk. I'm not, I'm just standing on the sidewalk. No, I'm just, I'm just out here exercising rights today, sir. That's it. That's it. Yeah, so you should, should be familiar then. I mean, this is, I, I got a fish. Okay, well, then you shouldn't have came out and explained. Yeah, but you don't have no business here. That's, I'm telling you now again, I have to follow for your request, sir. That's correct. Yeah, I know you don't have to process it here, but I can file it here and then you guys are appropriate. There you go. Okay. So he's well, familiar. But, but, but that he, phone is not allowed at our gatehouse. So well, I have a right, I have a right to uh, uh, basically document my business here. That, that's that's a law as well. Can't, but you can't bring that cell phone inside that gatehouse. Inside? No, I don't have to go inside the gate, sir. No, just inside this door here, not the gate. No, I'm not going past the gate. You can't go inside at all. Inside. Laws. It's gallery. laws for you guys to state. Well, well, <laughs> for you know, the state of Wisconsin. No, well, go take it up with the state then, sir. You, you, go take it up with the state. You de de-escalate, sir. You don't have to. You don't have to try to get rowdy. Sir. Right, because you're not going to listen to anybody. So you're, you're so just think you have a right, and you're not going to. You're not going to listen to anybody. I am listening. Yeah. I, but but do I supposed to agree? Are you saying just, just I have to agree with everything you say, sir? Okay. If you don't, then go through the state. Uh, this is the state. Tyrant Terminator! Yo, what's good, TTA family? Back at y'all with another one. Today we are at the Racine Correctional Institution out in Sturdivant, Wisconsin. We just getting ready to see it. They respect our rights to record in public and to make sure that our rights are not infringed on by anyone at any time. So let's go see. Sorry, sir. I can the wind. I can barely. I can barely hear you, man. I know he said something about pictures. I don't know. Obviously, it's probably something about you can't take them. I just couldn't hear him. You know, sorry, TTA family, for this wind problem too. Cause it's definitely windy out here. Yeah, what you say, sir? Why not? Yeah, I know it's a prison, but I'm I'm just standing on the sidewalk. I'm not. I'm just standing on the sidewalk. No, I'm just I'm just out here exercising rights today, sir. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So you should should be familiar then. I mean, this is I, I got a fish. Okay, well then you shouldn't have came out and explained then. Okay. Uh, well, 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 I don't need it. <laughs> you, call, I mean, you can call them; they're gonna tell you the same thing. I'm on public property. It's public property, sir. I know it's so tough. We've been down this road already. It was public property. <laughs> not do it's not illegal to do it. <laughs> What's your name, sir? What's your name? I asked you first, sir. Oh, you're a tyrant. <laughs> See, yeah, I can tell. I can tell. I can tell, man. I already just did. <laughs> this dude is straight up tyrant, man. Got no authority out here, man. It's a sidewalk, sir. Your authority is behind the gate. <laughs> I mean, you can call it what you want. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm exercising my rights today, sir. I know y'all used to, you know, beating up on inmates and stuff people like that. Watch, uh, people watching too much TikTok, man. That's what's going on around here. Well, obviously you familiar with it, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, oh, okay then. And you're still trying to infringe on my rights. <laughs> but I know y'all used to doing the inmates like that. I'm not an inmate, though, so. It's so rough. Everybody's a victim. Yeah, everybody is. What's up, sir? 
I'm Captain Jones. Who are you? I appreciate that. My name is James. All right, what James? can I do for you today? Well, I can't be recording this on state ground. However, this is public. This is state ground. Yeah, I know. I'm standing on the public side. Well, no, this is not public. This is DOC state owned. That's correct. Who right. owns the state, sir? Huh? Who owns the state? The public. That's uh, correct. Okay, sir. okay. But well, however, mm -hmm. this 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 is a private property. This is a prison. So this so, is a so private you, prison. The prison is private. This you is just private said state, property sir. of the, the of the state. This is private property owned of the of the state. So you can go and listen. You can go out to this road here. Uh huh. And you can record anything you want out there, but you can't do it here. Otherwise, we have to call the police. Okay. So and I got official business here as well. So I got to go in here and file a, a FOIA a FOIA request. I don't care what you file, sir. You can you can. So I'm gonna go in and do it. You can you can contact our office of legal counsel. No, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it inside because I can have a, a right to do it inside. I can file it in person. What, That's, are you, what, are you, what are you talking about? File what? The I don't freedom know what you're of talking about. Oh, okay, I'm trying but, to explain but, it to you. But, but, the Freedom of Information Act. I have a right to file a Freedom of Information. Okay. But, but, That's this, but, but just listen to me, sir. Okay. You can record outside on this public on, on the public uh, this road here. Okay. This, is, this is public on, but however, it's a prison. And, and we, I know it's not, a prison. I, I, I can understand where y'all yeah, coming from with yeah, that. Yeah. But by it being public, that's so what, what grants what, what is your name? I just told you my name, sir. What's your name? I just said James. James, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not going to give you my last name. I mean, no, no. no, no. Again, I don't well, think that's unnecessary. Yeah. So, well, 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 we will contact law enforcement. So I mean, if you, if you, re you refuse to leave, I'm going to go ahead and contact law enforcement, and then you can wait, and then you can deal with it. Okay, just to, just to make it for the record, yeah. I never refuse to leave. I just have okay. official business first, then I'll leave. Official business with who? With the office of following a FOIA request, sir. I just it's my third time telling you. Yeah, that. but you don't have no business here, do you? That's I'm telling you now again. I have to follow uh, FOIA requests, sir. That's correct. Yeah, I know you don't have to process it here, but I can file it here, and then you guys are appropriate. There you go. Okay. So he's well, familiar. But, but, but that he, phone is not allowed at our gatehouse. So well, I have a right. I have a right to uh, uh, basically document my business here. That, that's that's a law as well. Can't, but you can't bring that cell phone inside that gatehouse. Inside? No, I don't have to go inside the gate, sir. No, just inside this door here, not the gate. No, I'm not going past the gate. You can't go inside at all. Inside? Yeah, I know. You can't go inside at all. With my phone? No. And that's the state. Is that a law? Because if it's not a law, I'm definitely that, going to. That is a law. That okay. Well. Yeah. Oh, so is it posted? Because if it is, I'm a, I definitely want to respect all laws. Yeah. Yeah. That's a DOC rule. And it's, oh, it's and a DOC it, rule. Yeah. Okay. So, so you, and that's a DOC rule, which is probably is governed by law. Okay. So, yeah, and, it, and it's got recordings up there too. You can't, you're not allowed to send cell phones. Does it say that? Well, I know I've seen guns and stuff like that, of course, but I didn't see anything about a not recording. Yeah. It does say all cell yeah. phones, pages, yeah. electronic devices that, yeah. need yeah. to remain in car. Yeah. So, and you on, you on, the that's, and, that's, and you on a property. That's just so, it, though. That's just a sign, sir. It's not a law. Yeah. You know, that's it's not, not a law. Well, it's a sign. It's up there. Yeah, I understand, so, but it's again, not a law. So again, if you don't leave right now, I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to call the cops. Oh, well, I have official it. business. I just told you that you're not going to allow me to conduct it. Now that's infringing on my rights, no. sir. It's going to come down on you personally. Well, whatever. Oh, so you don't care? No, whatever. I'm okay, well, I have, to, I, I have to. I'm just letting you know now. Okay. You can't go in there with that cell phone it's right here. And if you do, you know what? Maybe, 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 maybe should contact you guys as warden. But before you step into some mess, man. Well, I mean, if you so, want to get so, him or her out here, so, to, you, so you still want to record on this premises? I'm gonna record in the public accessible areas. What I have a right to All do. Right. Okay, have a good day. All right. So uh, that guy's totally misinformed. Totally, he got to going into all the thing about uh, it's <laughs> they don't even man, look. They don't even be understanding how they sound. Man. They don't understand how they sound at all. It's private. You know, it is public, but it's private. Come on, man. Stop it. Look, this is the sidewalk right here. Then he's trying to show me signs. Dude back there, the sergeant back there was a super tyrant. So I guess they're going to contact law enforcement, and hopefully they'll come educate them as well. Uh, you guys stay tuned. We'll see. I guess this was the sign that uh, the captain came out misquoted, where he said there was signs out here stating that and if enough it was, it, it still wouldn't matter. Again, TTA, man, I'm sorry for this wind. It's real windy out here, real windy out here. I hope you guys can still hear me. So, yeah, but like I said, that sign, man, that sign just says Racine Correctional Institution is a drug facility, is drug-free facility. Violators will be arrested and prosecuted. This is a tobacco-free facility. Nothing about recording or anything. This dude is just totally misinformed, talking about, yeah, it's, it's a private prison in public. Man, 
stop it, man. So we're going to wait for law enforcement to show up. And like I say, hopefully they'll educate them on exactly what we have to do. Because And, and, and again, Wisconsin state law says, says that citizens has a right to inspect and copy state records. So I tried to convey that to the captain to see like the other guy that wasn't even a, a had no rank at all knew exactly what we was talking about when we said freedom of information. This captain right here is just all messed up. But like I say, y'all stay in tune. We'll see. How you doing, officer? I'm just trying to come out here today to file a Freedom of Information Act. I was trying to convey to this captain here that the state of Wisconsin do allow citizens to file a FOIA. Uh, he didn't understand what that was. So another another uh, guard here that works here actually did understand. Uh, it's a sunshine. They have sunshine laws in the state of Wisconsin, 1.2, where I can file a Freedom of Information Act and expect and copy records of the state. So that's what I'm trying to do, but well, he's not allowing me to do it. Fine and well, you don't do that here. Yeah, I can do it here. I can do it here, and then they will have to afford it to the appropriate person. Even the other officer uh, agreed with that. So I can't do it here. I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what that means. Yeah. How you doing, Sergeant? What's your name and badge number, sir? I'm just helping out. I'm not. Oh, okay. Just, okay, appreciate that. Just wanted to. No wanted to yeah. I, like I was conveying to this officer here, I'm just trying to file a FOIA request for him today. And, uh, also trespassing. How am I trespassing, sir, on public property? I think what they're going to have issues with is the fact that this is a detention facility. It's a jail. I can understand that. And that your video. I think and and your, I understand that. And, and what I told them, I actually understand that. But I have a right to document my official business with this agency as well by, by law, sir. We're just exercising constitutional rights here. Don't want them or you guys to um, infringe on those today. Hopefully we can do that and um, so did you go in the be successful. And ask what you want for what you wanted. Well, this young man right here um, impeded that. He impeded my movement. Um, he was very kind of aggressive at the door there and wouldn't allow me to. So I asked him for and a warden, and he didn't. He was uninterested. Did he give you a reason for not letting you in? Um, not really. He just kept saying the stuff that he kept trying to say in terms of uh, recording and stuff like that. And I tried to convey to him. As you were walking in? I was trying to. I was trying to. Uh, but yes, you can, sir. Yes, you can. By law, you can, sir. You absolutely can. No, it's a, it's rules, a, it's. Sir. it's rules, I understand sir. rules, but we're talking about laws, sir. No, no. Talk about laws, not rules. You guys are law enforcement, not rule enforcement. It's public property, sir. I'm standing on a public right of way. <laughs> File a FOIA, which I have a right to do. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And I even told him by him being a captain. Tell you, you don't do it here. You do it through the state of Wisconsin. I can do it here, sir. I, I, it's, a, it's, it's laws. It's laws for you guys' the state. <laughs> for the state of Wisconsin. No, no. Go take it up with the state then. Sir, you go take it up with the state. You de de-escalate, sir. You don't have to you don't have to try to get rowdy, sir. So you're so right and you're not gonna you're not gonna listen to anybody. I am listening. I, but but do I supposed to agree? Are you saying just, just I have to agree with everything you say, sir? Okay, and if you don't, then go through the state. Uh, this is the state. This is a state no, agency. You want me to show you the law, sir? I can show it to you. Here, but they don't do the business here. They have to. I can file it here, sir. Then they will forward it to the FOIA officer. That's that's how it goes, sir. I don't have to go all over the state to try to file a FOIA when I'm trying to file it with this agency, sir. I, I told I told this young man to go get his warden, and he was uninterested. So, <laughs> so he's going to go get the information that you need and be able to give it to you, so you can file what you need to file. I mean, I take a look at it, but like I was just telling this officer, we can I can file it at this agency, sir. But apparently, he can't. I mean, if you don't want to accept it, that's one thing. Right, but that, he, he's saying it's not happening here, doesn't happen here for what you're looking to do. I guess it has to happen somewhere else. Yeah, he, made it sound like, he made it sound like they're not the ones here that look into that. Yeah, they don't. Which they don't. there is a kind of a conflict of interest, right? Like, you don't want them to look into that. I can understand that, but, you know, it was another officer standing right by that captain, and he agreed with me, like, yeah, you can follow here. He so, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, no, the captain might not know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He might not know because the captain's 
Captain Theory is going to know a little bit better about those processes as, as just a dumb cop. I have no idea. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not necessarily, though. You know, I'm just, you know. Yeah. <laughs> But my, my whole thing, to be perfectly honest with you officers, man, I was, like I said, I was standing on the public accessible areas here, the sidewalk there, the sidewalk here, recording, not doing anything nefarious. But you can't because, because it's a detention facility. Correct. Prison. That's right. It, it, it's, it's like escape issues. So, I mean, you're, you're doing something, you're, you're planning this, you know, you're, you're planning the great escape for, for Joe Blow in there. Absolutely not. <laughs> That's what you got to know where they're coming from. I can understand. They don't know. But That's let me ask you, what's your name, officer? McCoy? McCoy. And your badge number, sir? Yeah appreciate that um even if they do feel like that their feelings don't trump our constitutional rights no no but you don't have a right to do that i yeah. do I'm, I'm 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 exercising my first amendment right now so well, there you can. i can in here is, is this publicly accessible it's publicly it's, it's, it's still private property there's a difference between oh, public absolutely accessible not. And private, private property it's not private this is not a private it prison is. It is. It is. It's it's, it's, come on come on now come on sorry you're a sergeant right sergeant swart come on man you just, look what you just said you said a state-owned private so is the state private? It's a prison. It's a prison. <laughs> oh, wow, man. It's a prison. Oh, wow. Okay. Just, I mean, nobody, you, you know what he's saying? Like, they're like, I can't just go in there. And I can't even go in there and just take tours. Of I, and that's not what I was trying to do. To be honest with you, I wasn't even trying to go in. I was trying to go inside to foul, but I wasn't trying to walk around and take a tour of the prison. I was just trying to stay out here on the sidewalk. I know. I, was just, I, was <laughs> I, know, I'm just saying. So. Um, like, you can stay out there and do it. You know, but, but here standing in the road huh? <laughs> get hit possibly and stuff like that well, I mean, that's, I mean, I mean you know, it's just that the, the property boundary lines right those have to be distinguished somehow okay okay and those are distinguished by the state that however they came about doing that right okay the state owns a property right but it's publicly accessible anybody, it's like walmart right anybody can go walk by walmart well that's uh, that's walmart actually property, private though right but yeah look at it the same way though same, same difference I mean, I can understand Walmart. That's actually private. Like, this is being, this is public property. There's no. This is definitely public property. So it's, like you said, it's state owned, right? Yeah, but Who owns the state? Public the public, right? No. No. So the so public the, accessible. So the state don't own. So the public don't own the state. Not, not really. You pay taxes. <laughs> That's that correct. You own it. Oh, come on now. Uh, let me get this right. Swart. Let me get Swart. Swart. Yep. Let me get the. Come on. Come on now, Sergeant. Man, you, you know better than this now, man. I mean, I know y'all trying to come here and enforce their feelings, man, but come on now. No, no, it's not enforcing feelings. Because y'all definitely law enforcement and not feelings just enforcement. Like, just like if it was a federal prison and it was federal property, military installation. Use that as an example. Still, public, yeah, you can access it. Yeah. But if they tell you you can't go on there, guess what? You're not going on there because so, it's federal property. But what law would that be? What law would it be? Uh, there's, one, there's law. I don't know it off the top of my head. I'd have to look at the statutes or whatever the federal statutes are. So, so you basically but say anything they statutes. say is law. That's what you're saying. Feds own the property and they don't want you on there, you're not going on there. Oh, I don't I don't believe that to be true. I mean it's, it's, it's a lot of people that might agree, but if it's, if it's public prop, then they'll be infringing on rights and then we have to go from there. Doesn't work like that though. Yeah, I, mean, I know what you're saying, but it doesn't unfortunately it just doesn't work. You know, you're getting into kind of the sovereign citizen. Not really no no, see sovereign citizen, not, not to be honest with you, you're, 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 law enforcement officers are sovereign citizens, you're, you're, not regular citizens. Think about it, because you got a sovereign citizen is a person that believes laws don't apply to them, right? That's the cops. Because I watch the police run stop signs all the time. And think about it. Be, I'm just being perfectly honest. So you get tickets just like you get tickets. I mean, I'm saying y'all say y'all run stop signs. Y'all pull people over. Y'all do illegal searches. Now you're, now you're getting into this stuff. We don't do that. No, I'm just saying. You said a sovereign citizen is a person that thinks that laws don't apply. I know laws. Cops apply. feel that way. Really? Sure, you're generalizing. I, 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 mean, I, 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 I can say, yeah. I mean, I'm you're just generalizing. saying. You're, you're, you're generalizing what you feel onto an entire group of people. Well, you, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's you, you're absolutely correct about that. You're right, you're right. I'm, I'm going to say this. You're absolutely correct. I don't know you three gentlemen per personally. So, uh, but we're going to say majority of police. There we go. I would say it would be the I mean, I believe you two, you two cops right here, you two have been um, forthcoming and a more professional than this young man. He kind of was escalating me just a few moments ago. So I can actually say that from the encounter that we're having now. So, but I mean, like I say, my whole reason for being here is just to be able to file a FOIA, uh, exercise my right to record in public, and I, hopefully I can do it unmolested.
across the street. You know what I mean? I mean, it's still a prison, right? I can be, I can be uh, planning an escape from across the street, right? <laughs> so that doesn't make sense. <laughs> it just don't make sense, though. That don't make. So it's basically, it's just basically whatever I say to do, we want you to do, because that's what it sounds like. I mean, if you like, like. I mean, I would love to see him because I can, I can show you guys the laws as well in terms of me filing a FOIA here, and that I can document my business. Work on digging up Europe, and I'll work on getting their, their statutes. I got it right here. Sun, sunshine laws for the state of Wisconsin. You want to take a look at it? Yeah, it says uh, the 1.2 public record sunshine laws. The public record law requires that every record is presumed to be available to the public. Access can be denied only in exceptional cases. We have a right to inspect and copy public records from state agencies. So I think this is a we're getting this is a, a mix up in interpretation of that. Okay. Okay. So you know I'm trying to think of how to explain this, right? In simple terms. Uh, although this state, this is a this is a uh, correctional facility. That's correct. We understand that. As right. As well, right. Right. They are owned by the state Department of Corrections. That's correct. Which is which is stationed in Madison. Okay. Right? Okay. So, uh, the capital, right? Yeah. yeah okay. That's where they're headquartered out of. That's where they do anything. Okay. This is this building right here is a branch of that of of right because everything comes from there. Of course it does. Everything branches off of just off like of Illinois, Canada. Springfield, of course, and, and, yeah. and so on, so yeah, on and so forth. Much about Illinois, well, I'm just saying I'm the sure. capital, yeah. of course. Yeah. Right. So everything branches off of that, and their headquarters is in there. That's saying you have a right to request and see the records from that place. That's correct. Right. Right. But they don't get put here. You know what I mean? Like I don't like, like I when I file, when I, when we file stuff, right? Through, right. Through the county. Okay. It doesn't go to Sturgeon and PD, right? Right. Like, it gets handled in Racine, in the city of Racine. That's okay. correct. Okay. That's a similar situation to like this right here. But see, what I'm trying to tell you, officer, is by being this is an agency, right? This is this is an agency that I can file the actual paperwork that I need to file, and uh, and it would be on them to forward it to the appropriate person, which would be their FOIA officer. Yeah, you, you get what I'm saying? Because think about it. Just think of someone handicapped came in here, right? Just real quick. Nobody with any means to travel or anything. Yeah. You wouldn't tell somebody to travel four hours away to file a FOIA. I mean, it doesn't make sense. I don't know. You might know. <laughs> right? Is this something that you could file online through I, them? I, I'm not even sure. I just know that the law say I can do it in person. Yeah, probably, and writing. But the interpretation of that is probably where we're getting mixed up, right? So the interpretation of that might be you can do it in person, but it might have to be done, which is kind of what I think they're trying to say. I mean, it's cool. I mean, you, I mean, they they called you guys here. My, my thing's going to be this. I know the captain's going to eventually come back out here. He's going to show me some paperwork or something, whatever, something like that. I'm going to ask him one final time. Is he going to allow me to exercise my rights? If he say no, then I'll hike out of here and just file a complaint on this guy. So we'll just I go would, from there. That would, honestly, that would probably be the... Easiest That's definitely what I'll do, you know what I mean? Because I'm not going to play around with them, yeah, you know what I mean? You'll have two agencies that'll look into that, right? You'll have DCI that'll look into that. Yeah, of course. Part, and then you'll have the state. That's yeah, correct. They're two separate branches. Of course. Right? Okay. So then the state I mean, I, like I said, I was trying to even see if the guy was willing to call his ward now. Maybe Which the, guy the, guy the captain. The captain, uh, the black guy that was just standing right here. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll say, Mickey, go get gotcha. your ward. And he was uninterested. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. just somebody that possibly know. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I don't even know if there's a ward. Yeah, yeah, he's there. His car's right there. I just filmed his car and everything. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have yeah. <laughs> so I don't talk to him a whole lot. Yeah, so. But you, you understand why they they called us out here, though? They just, they yeah, I mean, they probably suspect someone's trying to uh, plan an escape or some sort. They but, but. Have to go, they kind of have to go. No, it's cool. They kind of have to plan that out their worst case scenario, though, right? Like, they got to have all their, all their bases covered and stuff. And now that they know you're not. Now, that's the thing. I was just going to go there. Once you find out that that's not what I'm doing, everything should be good to go. But it's still a problem. Well, I'm going to... <laughs> so... <laughs> I know you think it's... And I understand your interpretation of it. I get that aspect of it, right? And I can see where the confusion would come in. And it does happen a lot. Like, we have people sure. that'll... The department fleet, right? That'll say, well, it's a public place. I have a right to be here. I, I can do whatever I want. Well, that's... Although it's open to the public, right? Like, right. they can still trespass you from that place, right? Yeah, I mean, if you commit a crime, though. Right. Not just, yeah, off, not just because you just can't just discriminate and say, I don't want you here. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, so yeah. So, Sergeant, do you uh, you got a business card? It's not even my call. Well, I mean, still, though, still have a business card that I can have, right? Yeah, but I'm not a part of this call. 
call. It's not my jurisdiction. I was just stopped by because he was here alone. Really? So I'm not, yeah. But you still, I mean, you're a sergeant of the what? what of Sturdivant? Is it who? Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant. Okay. Okay. Mr. Sturdivant, and he was, he was here by himself. So I, mean, I was stopping by. Just to still have a reference, though, to, of who was here. So, you know. Well, you got it on your recording there. Yeah, well, it's, it's okay, uh, Sergeant Swart. You should, hey, come on, man. You was doing good, man. If you got, if you got a business card, you should, you should give me one. Okay. Okay. All right. Like I said, we're just trying to get this captain to come back. And get yeah, him. I don't know if it was taking so long, man. Get you on your way. Yeah, so, you know, if he, he's going to show me some paperwork, I guess. Uh, I just want him to be able to convey to me that... Uh, He's going to wage war on my rights today. And uh, hopefully you guys don't assist him in that because then it'll come on down on you guys personally as well. Well, minimally. I mean, did you, did you drive here? You drove yeah. Here? Minimally, I just walked up over there and took this. So when you drove in, mm -hmm. this is, uh, that was it. Where is that at? Where that sign at? Right there. So see the big sign there, the, the, the brown one and the white with the light with the stop sign okay so you got the stop sign and then you got the next, one to the right that next sign to the right of it that's okay. facing out let me that's, see what it says that's again what that sign is restricted area keep out okay so no trespassing, no trespassing. violators will be prosecuted and then that statue right there is trespassing statute okay so my thing about trespassing again mm -hmm. i'm here for official business so there's no trespassing that even and applies they, and if they tell you that your official business can't be settled here right and you don't leave I'm, 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 and, and so you guys gonna so you guys gonna threaten me with arrest you you guys the cops because it won't be them because they can't arrest me it'll be you guys but if they, they're telling me you can't be here then it's just like walmart if walmart says you are no longer welcome in walmart i'm gonna say you are trespassed you are not allowed to be here because it's private property yeah that's why and, and so but you saw the sign right yeah, but I can't trust. I have official business here, sir. But, 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 You're missing but, that point. <laughs> but, but, but they're telling you, you know, and we're, we're getting you stuff. So once we get you that stuff. He can't tell me I don't have official business here. He yeah, can't. But we're, but we're getting you what you want. We're, we're getting you what no, you want. No, I didn't ever ask him for anything. He just said he was going to go in there and, and uh, uh, like, just go get it for me. I didn't ask him to go get I it. Did. Oh, you did. So, he, so he's getting you what you want because I didn't I, ask for it. I'm getting you what, you, what you're looking for. I'm oh, a four-year request form. Oh, okay. I don't know what a four-year request form is. Oh, it'll be the form that I can fill out the information that I'm looking for. I have no idea. Oh, hopefully, oh, if you bring that out, then we'd be good to go. Oh, that's that'll be great. If he brings the form out, I'm, uh, for sure. I thought. That. Or, or, and if they don't have those forms here, what's going to happen? I mean, if they don't have the forms here, we have to try to find out, uh, find a way to fa fill it out another way. Uh, leave. Yeah, of course. I'm not going to stay here all day. Right, I, right, eventually, right, I am going to leave. That's, that's, that's yeah, right. for sure. Yeah, but I mean, I just don't want you guys to aid them in trying to um, wage war on my rights today, sir. There, because then you guys got to worry about your qualified immunity going out the window. And I mean, I'm just being perfectly honest with you. It's not even a threat. There, 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 it's there's a, a fact. Right there that says it's restricted. I know, but not if you got official business, though. That's my only thing. But, but you don't. It's not just like I just I'm in a lottery. I, mean, I have actually business here. Right, but they don't. If 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 you went uh, trying to try and find a good. I understand what you're trying to say. You're basically, if you go in there. Walmart, and say, I'm here on official business and I want to buy a car. But Walmart doesn't sell cars. That's correct. So it's not official business. If they can't give you what you're looking for, your official business is no good here. I need you to leave. No, but I'm here, you know, I'm here legally trying to trying to do official business, but they don't sell cars. Right. So, so that's so it's like walking into an orthodontist office and saying That's private know, as well. I, I wanna right, I wanna buy a car. That's but, private. Right, but this 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 is private property. This is not a so so you're saying this prison is private. That's what you said. Now we let's put it like this. I understand that some prisons are private. But we're talking about RCI. Yeah, it's a state prison. State that's correct. State owned. That's, that's all I need to know. So it's not private. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep going around around. I'm with just you. saying, you, 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 you Sergeant, you're saying if you it. Come here. If you come here and they don't want you here and you don't leave, you could be arrested. Okay. Well, we hey we hey like I said. I just saying, you, know, it's just, you, you, you want to take that. The, the people that are in here don't want to be here, but they don't have a choice. That's correct because they violated the law. I'm not violating the law. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But, of course or not. But then I'm going to be honest with you, Sergeant. What it's going to look like, even after I'm conveying to you guys and them what I'm trying to do, it's going to it's going to look like you guys are conspiring to step on my rights today. And that's and you're going to be in direct violation of. Out of our way to try and help you. I'm, well, I'm well, I'm telling you what I need, right? No, 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 nobody came up here and jerked you out of here. Nothing like that. We're not yet, at least. Not not yet, at least. Talk with 
because you did say that's a possibility at the end of the day. So not yet, at least. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, I'm, not, I'm never going to allow myself to be arrested. All I need for you guys to do is threaten me with arrest. And that's enough standing that I have in court to sue this department. And, 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 oh, absolutely not. But, I mean, I'm, I'm looking to exercise my rights. And, and if they be stepped on, I'm going to use any recourse I can to get some relief. That's anybody. <laughs> so if we can't get you what you want and then you refuse to leave and then and, and then. So once you're threatened, then you're going to sue him. No, no, no. So you, you're missing it, uh, Sergeant. Yes, you're missing it like this. What I'm saying is I'm here I'm here to file some business. If the captain comes out and say, you can't do it here, right? You just can't do it here. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna continue filming in the public accessible areas. If he tell me he wants me to leave after that, and, and you guys try to aid him and try to threaten me with arrest, I'm going to be under duress. I'm going to leave, but I'm definitely going to put some complaints on every officer involved. Okay. And when he tells you to leave after that, and you don't leave, then what? Now I'm going to. <laughs> now I'm going to, especially if you guys say you're going to be arrested, sir. Then I'll leave. That's the only standing I need. Right. Because that's a violation of my rights. So that would be good to go. Yeah, I'd be good to go. So you're just looking to file a complaint? No. Okay, so just go ahead and file no. a complaint. No, no I'm looking to file a... a little bit of trouble, no, 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 no. I'm looking to file a FOIA. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't think you can... Look. I don't, I don't know what they're for. Yeah, I'm, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe he's in there getting the education from his warden. Maybe the warden is telling him that I, I can because he's it's been an awful long time. I don't see what's Yeah, it's been yeah, and I'm and holding you guys up, which is a waste of resources as well. You know, uh like I said, it was another uh, officer correction officer that was standing right here that was just telling them that I can do it. Yeah, I mean, man, let me tell you something right now, Sergeant. If this guy got this FOIA request form, it's going to be amazing. I'm going to fill it out, give it back to him, and book on out. That's simple. I mean, I mean, look, look, I look into that, you know. I look into that. I, I just showed that officer the law, though. He said I'm, I have a right to inspect and copy state records, so we'll see. Although this facility on grounds are own, uh, you don't want me to see it. State of Wisconsin, neither Racine Correctional Institute nor its grounds, including the parking lot, are open to the public for general use. I would ask that you please leave the parking lot and move at least to the public right away along Wisconsin Street here. Uh, I absolutely agree that you have a First Amendment right to write or publish podcast or any subject expressing any viewpoint or whatever filming you conduct at this point in time needs to be done from off the institution grounds for security reasons. I take everyone's safety seriously, including yours, and our policy exists to ensure everyone's safety and security. Okay, so what, what is that exactly, sir? Is that, is that a memo? That, that, that's telling you that you can't record, like I told you earlier, you can't record on to go out there. What I'm asking is the paper that you just so, read to me, so, so, is it a memo or is it a law? So I can show you it's actually a law. But this okay, well then that's, that's what so I would need so to know. So What's the law? So this, this is yeah, a right, trespassing. trespassing. Right. So th I can show you all this, but he, he can do that on his own. On his own well, it's, it's on your sign. Up. It's on the sign, right. Yeah. So that's where we at. So so I'm not able so I'm not able to file a FOIA today, obviously. That's not. Now, now basically, if you're, 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 he threatened me with arrest. You guys are, right? If, if I don't leave, you, you want to arrest me. Just say that for me. Yes. I'm out of here. Yes. Okay. Okay, then I'll leave. I'll leave under threat of duress from, from Sergeant Swart, this officer here, and obviously Officer McCoy from the Department of Corrections. Like I said, I parked this way, so I got to go get my car. For sure. Yep. So uh, that's how that cookie's going to crumble. We're going to go right over. Uh, and Sergeant, what's your police department again? Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant. That's what we're going to hit. That's what we're on our way to. Mount Pleasant first. We're going to go to Mount Pleasant. To file a complaint against the sergeant for threatening us with arrest. Uh, like I said, this is a public accessible uh, parking lot. You know what I mean? Uh, you could tell the captain here, he was a straight a hole. You know what I mean? And the sergeants and everything. So, but it's cool because we gonna put the complaints in. You know what I mean? We gonna put the complaints in, and it's all good. So y'all stay tuned, TTA fam. Oh yes, is there a lieutenant or a deputy chief, someone I can speak with? Uh, but I have a complaint against a sergeant that I just encountered, threatened me with arrest. Okay, where did it happen just so I can let the lieutenant know? Um, it happened at the RCI, Ra Racine Correctional Institution. That would be conservative. 
You're absolutely correct, but it was a sergeant from this department there as well threatening me with the rest. Oh, okay. Right. Because usually that's not our jurisdiction. Yeah, I know. That's just shocking to me too as well. So yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that's she. She just made a great point as well, right there. It's even out of their jurisdiction, and he still threatened me with arrest. He was the main one, the sergeant. So, but like I said, after we leave here, we're gonna head on over to Sturdivant as well and do the same precise thing we're doing right now. So y'all stay tuned. All right, appreciate it. Yeah, so the pass either there or another thing, and then you can have a seat in the room there if you want to fill it out in there. Thanks a lot. Able. All righty. So we got a con citizen complaint form. She told me to sit in here, fill it out real quick. Cut this light on. Uh, she said a lieutenant will be down. Let's see what he or she says while we fill this out. And We'll be good to go, TTA family. Y'all stay tuned. Hey. Uh, Lieutenant? Yeah, Lieutenant Paulson. How can I help you? Man, appreciate you for coming out and having a dialogue with me, sir. Uh, just basically wanted to come in and put you guys on notice about uh, one of you guys, the sergeants that was just dispatched. Well, he wasn't even dispatched. He actually admitted that he was just happening by. Sure. And he's seen uh, two started police officers out there. So he came to assist him, I guess. But even like the young ladies just said, they're still out of you guys' jurisdiction. But... Uh, Sergeant Swart is the man that I'm actually filing a complaint on. He threatened me with arrest for me just exercising my First Amendment right in the public accessible area where I was at. Uh, I just wanted to basically put this someone of a higher authority, which you are, of course, a lieutenant. Okay. Uh, that's uh, well, these gross negligent acts and violations that were perpetrated against me. And I want to move forward with um, this complaint for sure. So. Okay. So you want to file a formal complaint? That's correct. I'm actually doing that right now. Um, actually done oh, so with it. You, so you have the form? Yeah, she gave it to me. Okay, yeah. very well. I just wanted to put you guys on a... So what's you guys' deputy chief name? I want to jot that down. Just so we I don't can... have a deputy chief. Really? No. Okay. You, you have a chief, obviously, right? Yeah, what's the chief? Chief, what's her, his or her name? Sowens. Sowens? Yep. Chief Sowens. How do you spell that, sir? S-O-E-N-S. S-O-E... I'm sorry. S O E N S. E N S. Okay. Right. Sowens. Okay. Yep. Pre appreciate that. So yeah, I'll just give uh this young lady uh this this form back. Uh, she'll give me a Xerox copy, and then we'll be good to go. Just wanted to basically put you on notice, Lieutenant. Appreciate okay. you for coming out and even speaking Sounds with me. Thanks a lot. Good. Take care of yourself. You too. Hello. So, yes, yeah, so if I could just get a copy of uh, this complaint uh, and you stamp the receipt from you guys, we'll be good to go. Okay, appreciate it. All right, thanks a lot. So, yeah, just want to, you know, let the lieutenant know, see, you want to exhaust all remedies, TTA family. You want to be able to exhaust all remedies, uh, you know, uh, so uh, someone of a high authority is aware of it. Um, obviously, that complaint's going to go to another higher authority who will make the department all the way aware of it. And then we, we'll go from there. You know, my thing is real quick. Uh, it's not about getting arrested. You don't have to get arrested. You know, you, all you would need is for them to threaten you. Then you'll be under duress. So that haunts anyone from wanting to exercise their rights, which is, like I said, it's a gross violation. Uh, my thing is, you know, we got, we got different ways that we can go with this thing. We can go through federal court. Or what I like to do currently and now is I just get the insurance carrier's name. And we, we just file a claim. You know, that's what I do. So it's, it's an easier, faster way, more effective way. It's beautiful. So, uh, but of course, that's going to take a while because they, we got to wait for these this department to come back with if the um, if the complaint is founded or unfounded. So it, it might take a while. So, uh, but in any event, when the complaints do come back, when they're concluded and everything, the investigation and stuff, we'll be able to push forward with the insurance carrier. So, y'all stay tuned. We're just getting up out of there, man. We finna now. We're getting ready to head over to the Mount Pleasant Police Department. Definitely gonna head over there to the Mount Pleasant Police Department and do the same precise thing. Uh, stay tuned, we'll see. So yeah, TTA fam, I just made a mistake, so it's not Mount Pleasant. We over here at the Sturdivant with those other two cops. So we just left Mount Pleasant. We're over here at Sturdivant's Police Department. So uh, y'all stay tuned, let's go see. Hello. Yes, uh, today is... We'd like to see, <coughs> excuse me, if I can speak to um, maybe like a lieutenant or deputy chief or some sort. Uh, 
I can see if the lieutenant's here. I know the chief's not here. Do you guys have deputy chiefs or no? Okay. We have a chief, a captain, and a lieutenant. A captain, a lieutenant, okay. And then, of course, sergeants too, as well, right? Uh, no, there's no sergeants. There's really? just officers, police officers. Okay. Um, lieutenant or captain would be great. Okay. I mean, and, regarding? Um, and regarding um, I just had an encounter with Officer McCoy and another officer that was with them. He didn't um, identify himself, but uh, basically I was threatened with arrest um, for filming in public. Um, so. Um, for what? For, for recording. Re basically what I'm doing now. <laughs> recording in public and public accessible areas. Okay. Uh, yeah. okay. And what is your name? My name is James. James? Mm -hmm. What's your last name? I don't really want to. Well, I do have to put it on a, on a complaint form, so you can just tell them James for now. Okay. They, I think they, uh, when I left the property, they was kind of trying to like uh, run my plate, so they have probably, probably have all my information. In Sturdivant, though, right? Sturdivant, yeah, it was in Sturdivant. It was the uh, we, we was at the Racine Correctional Institution. Okay. Yeah. All right, just have a seat. Okay, for sure. Um, and you have your phone number? Oh. Yeah, my phone number is there, so they can. Yeah, they, yeah, they can contact me. Um, that would be good to go. And just real quick, for the, uh, like you were saying, um, you did speak to the female lieutenant back there, but she's not willing to come out because she says the um, process is for us to fill out the complaint first and wait for someone to follow up. Uh, procedure, yeah. Even though I just wanted to talk to her, she's not willing. Right. Okay, what's her name exactly? Uh, lieutenant Chapman. Lieutenant Chapman. Okay, appreciate that. You're about to All righty. Thanks a lot. All right, TTA family. So she didn't want to, the lieutenant didn't even want to come out. Uh, they probably gave him a heads up that I was going to come over here. So uh, they're already back at each other here at Sturdivant. So, but like I say, man, it's all good. We'd be good to go. So yeah, TTA family from the top, from the top, from the top. Uh, we went to the prison real quick. You know what I mean? We recording on the sidewalk. See the sergeant and some of those guards, man, behind the gate. You know, they was getting real. Well, the sergeant was the main one real verbally. But, you know, whatever, man. We ain't, we weren't trying to entertain him. He wasn't nothing. He got his jurisdiction behind the gate. So, whatever. Captain came out, though. And I was trying to explain to him about the FOIA process. It seemed like he was not He was just, like, not had any knowledge about it, right? So, I, I noticed, though, that it was one officer that did say, oh, okay, yeah, the FOIA. Okay, yeah, you can file it. He said, yeah, but you don't do that here. And then when I told him, yeah, I can do it here and the appropriate, it'll be on y'all to send it to the appropriate person after that. He was shaking his head in agreement, like you're right. So, so that kind of affirmed the validity of my argument at that point. Uh, the captain still wasn't interested. Didn't want to try to show me signs about not a cell phone, but we didn't see one sign about not recording. And even if we would have seen a sign about not recording, it's just a sign. But we're still at that prison. The entire grounds, we didn't see one sign that said you couldn't record. So that's one thing. Uh, sergeant, uh, two officers from Sturdivant came out and a sergeant. Uh, the sergeant was the only one that really said, yes, you will be arrested. However, those other two officers stood by and, 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 and aided it, I, I, I would uh, suspect. Uh, they're standing there. They didn't, they, didn't, uh, they didn't tell the sergeant that I had a right. They didn't uphold my rights. So they failed in those attempts. Uh, uh, my thing, though, my the most beautiful thing that happened today is the whole time we was waiting for the captain to come back out, and when he finally came out, he had a paper, he had paperwork that he was reading. Now I think that someone might have, you know, it took him so long to come out. I'm thinking someone had uh, faxed him that, maybe of a higher authority, maybe the warden even gave it to him, or a uh, superintendent, or somebody from the Department of Corrections out in Madison, their capital, because he he read he was reading that. And he said, although you do have a First Amendment right, so they do acknowledge that we had a right to be there, but they still was going to ask the cops to infringe by arresting me. So that was that was beautiful. So after we put in all these complaints, like I said, we filed one with the Department of Corrections. We just filed two with these police departments. Man, we're going to go all the way up, man, for the insurance carrier. You already know it's more effective. And I know it's going to be some people in the comments to say, TTA, man, take the arrest, man. Y'all just doing that for entertainment purposes. Y'all y'all get entertained to see someone be put in handcuffs. Because think about it. If if just them threatening me with the arrest, if, that's, if that should suffice, me getting arrested does what? What purpose does it serve if I'm still, if my rights were still violated? 
So re really, you're just doing it for entertainment purposes. Now, don't get me wrong. Some of these videos that us auditors do are entertaining, but that should be second. That should be subsequent. You should be worried about that subsequently because the first thing is for us to expose corruption. So it's educational first. That's the first thing. Expose corruption, then be entertained. But for you to want to see an auditor arrested, you're, you're just looking for entertainment. So we ain't trying to entertain that. Like I say, when I first started doing audits, man, I ain't out here looking for lawsuits. But, of course, if that's the only recourse that we have to get relief, then, of course, we got to pursue that. But in any event, man, thanks for everybody that's been tuning in with TTA. We'll be back live Sunday after next. A lot of y'all missed the live, but it's all good. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscription button. We got a lot of big stuff coming up, man. Our TTA merch getting ready to drop. Uh, we're doing a lot of giveaways, man. We got some more trivia questions for you guys. We all call in to win some months, win some more money from TTA. Shout out to the last winners. And uh, to the next time, y'all stay locked in with me.